So are we ready for a fun project? I hope so. We're going to be actually doing some creatures or monsters. We're going to be looking at some monster stuff in literacy next week. So I thought this was a fun way to do some activities today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide our paper into four. If you'd like to do four separate papers, that's okay. I'm looking for four different monsters. We're going to use a part that we're going to use to roll the dice. So remember that when you're rolling the dice, you can actually use a dice or you can use a Google roller or you can actually use your device like Alexa or Google. So the other possibility too is that you make it up. So what I'm looking for when I check these out is that they're going to have a body, a head, some eyes, a mouth, some arms, and some legs. So you're gonna go and you're gonna make them all different. Sometimes you're going to, you might wanna just use this as a starting point and make it a little bit different from there. Remember that there really aren't any mistakes. These are creatures and monsters, so it doesn't really matter, but I wanna see all those different parts. When you're thinking about making mistakes, this was the first one that I tried today and I did my head and I did my body and my eyes and then it came to the mouth and I put my mouth right in the middle of the body and I was like, oh no. And then I realized it's a creature so I could do it and it actually looked kind of cute that way. You can also add some color. I'm gonna plan on adding some color. Uh, I just ran out of time today. So this is one of the creatures that I did and I'm just gonna show you some of the other ones in my final product. So this is what we're looking at. I find it was actually kind of interesting that some of the ones took on some distinction, like this one actually looked like a girl monster. I didn't plan it out that way. Um, and this one down here looked more like a robot. So it was kind of interesting as we were create as I was creating them, what I was coming up with. So that's our art activity for the day. And I really look forward to seeing you next week. I hope that you have a restful weekend and you can get outside and get some, get some fresh air. Have a super awesome weekend. I look forward to working with you next week. Have a safe and happy weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.